jump above it Take it straight to the moon Cause we know how to rock it Ain't no thing you can do Ain't no way to stop it Now you feeling it too Let's get it started Throw your hands in the air While the beat is dropping Acting like you don't care When everybody's watching Just keep whipping your hair Good morning everyone We've got them all of our merino sheep in That we're gonna uh, wean the lambs off they're old enough now that they they're not relying on their mum mums anymore and it's time for them to part ways so the mothers of these lambs are merinos they're a wool sheep and they were crossed with a boar lester and a merino there's two two lots of lambs in here there's first crossed lambs which are these ones and there is some merino lambs in here um, so the fathers of those ones are Bordelesters and the fathers of these Merinos are a full Merino so they're, they're both their mum and dad are uh, Merinos and they're, they're a full wool sheep where there is these first crossed lambs um, they'll then be crossed with a, the ewes will be crossed with a, a pole dorset which is a, a meat sheep and that's what that's when you'll get your second crossed lamb that, that um, you find in the supermarket As you can see, there's a couple of uh, pole dorset ewes that have crawled in here that are not meant to be in here as well. But you can see the difference there, wool sheep and a meat sheep, there's the difference. So these lambs are old enough now uh, that they are not relying on their mums and it's time for them to, to be separated and, and so that the, the ewes can can pick up and can be joined again at the end of the year. Uh, otherwise, if if we leave the lambs on their mums, they'll just keep keep suckling off their mums and 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 not allowing the ewes to pick up condition because uh, they're trying to produce milk as well as keeping their own body weight. So we'll take the lambs off them now and and that'll let the ewes pick up. So what we do is the sheep run up this drafting race and then they get drafted two ways so the lambs will go that way and the ewes will go out there there goes one she's keen already So we've drafted them now, so now we're going to drench them, uh, that'll kill things like worms and, well, internal parasites. So we'll get on with that. My drafting skills still need a bit of polishing, I missed a couple of lambs, but we'll get them out while we're, while we're drenching them. To believe us, break through the surface, tell them open the curtains, give them all what they wanted. Yeah, now let's get it started. So, on the drench packets, it's always got the dosage rate, and that's based on a weight per weight um, obviously you're not going to give a, a 20 kilo lamb the same amount that you give a, a 60 kilo ewe so ideally in the perfect world you would weigh every sheep and and give them the perfect amount but the reality is that that's just not um, efficient and and so what you generally do is take the average and and then you, you work out your rate from that and then if they if you do come across a, a, a bigger you, you just give her a little bit more so that you're not under dosing them then and um, causing more resistance so hope the audio is coming through all right a bit I think I need to get a microphone 
I'm just using the GoPro standard, the inbuilt microphone for the GoPro, and I don't know how good it does in wind. I haven't, haven't tried that yet, so. All right, so I think we're pretty right to start drenching now. Let's get into it. Show me something new Hey yeah, it's a hell of a time This world's insane but we gon' be alright The door is open, my light is on Blow up your speakers when the bass drop I feel elated, everyone should Let's show this party how we do We're getting along pretty well here. We've probably done oh, probably half of the years. Uh, it's all going pretty smoothly. Um, I hope you can hear me all right in this wind. As you can see, it works pretty well with one person. It's just me here today, Dad. Dad's out. Our uh, contract's spreading, so I've got the job of winning the, some of these merino lambs. But one person works pretty well. Both years go up each race. And then I'll work my way down this one and by the time I get to the end that one will be filled up and I'll just close the gate and then go back up this rate and close the gate and then it just keeps going back and forth. It's, it works pretty well with one person. Um, Two is always better but that's just what we've got to deal with today so. Now these ewes are in pretty good order for, for having lambs on them. I mean, I mean this year's been a, a really good season. Um, for for a lot of New South Wales, and you know it carries through and shows in the in the quality of the quality in the sheep. So no, it's really pleasing. It's always pleasing to see your stock in good order. But anyway, let's keep going with it. Say, I'd say this tastes, tastes a little bit like the cough medicine that you got when you were a kid. But I don't think it's very nice, but it's helping them. Are drenched and healthy now. We'll put them a fair ways apart so that they can't hear each other and it'll just make the whole winning process a bit easier for them because it is a stressful time for them and they will lose condition probably for a, a week or two now before they pick up again um, but that's just the way it is that's you know, there's not really any way you can help that unless you're going to leave them on their mums their whole life, but that's that's not an option, so. No, right, I will take the count that you use and take them back to their paddock. Them. 
about 420. I would normally take the bike, but it's too bloody windy. Just take the ute, I think. Get up. I just left a few of the smaller lambs in there uh, with their mums because they were just a bit small to be weaned so um, they would just been lambs that were born later and and they're just not as old as the ones that we've just weaned so they can stay on their mums for a little bit longer and and um, yeah keep going forward otherwise if you if you wean them too young they they still relying on their mother too much like their mother's milk and so leave them with their mums a bit longer and before they fully convert to eating grass these ewes will be happy to get out of the yards now and go have a drink and and fill their bellies up full of full of fresh green grass here Lanny good girl so I'm gonna go get the lambs now and bring them down and put them on this paddock um, this is Raphno Peloton. Um, unfortunately, this paddock is going to have to be sprayed out, uh, even though we only sowed it not that long ago, and that's because we didn't, we probably didn't realise the risk when we sowed it that there was there was actually new weeds coming up as we we're sowing it, and. We should have sprayed it again before we sowed it and now the weeds are, are gonna beat it and so we want to get rid of them otherwise they're gonna they're gonna go to seed and, and produce more more plants next year so unfortunately we'll we'll have to spray this whole paddock out um there's about nine hectares here so it's not not very much but it's just a little bit annoying it's a shame um so what we're gonna do is put a Put these lambs on it to eat it off and then we'll spray it before the, the all the weeds go to head and and um, produce more seed so it's just one of those things unfortunately push them up So this is the stuff here that is causing the problem. It's wire weed and it's all throughout this paddock and that's why it's very uh, very competitive wire weed and it, it over, it'll overrun this whole this whole crop which is the whole reason we're gonna have to to spray it. Um, so this will get sprayed probably in the next couple of weeks and left fallow over summer and then uh, probably February next year it'll get sewn into something else I'm not quite sure what yet um, but yeah just got to try and kill those weeds now before they set seed and then the seed drops on the ground and then next year you've got twice as many plants as you did this year especially cave weed it's really invasive and, um, you know you look at it there now and it doesn't look too bad and you think well surely it's a bit of a waste spraying it but there's a lot of cape weed through it and um, we know that it's the right thing to do otherwise we're just gonna have trouble with it f for the next two or three years and it's gonna be a, a lot harder battle than if we just spray it now and and have another go February next year so it's a shame but that's just the way it is anyway that's gonna be the end of another video so um, I hope you learned something, I uh, found it interesting, um, and thank, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.